So welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to today's video and uh, we are back officially talking about eFootball and I'm going to have to call it eFootball because after I put out yesterday's video, you know, we've all digested it now, um, you know, and it's sort of the day after the storm because yesterday was horrendous for all of us, I think. There, there was maybe, what, 2%? They were happy with the trailer, if that. Um, and the rest of us, obviously long-time Pez fans for, for many decades, have kind of been slapped in the face. Um, so I wanted to go over quite a few things today and kind of let people know um, that this is not this is not a drill, um, as they say. No, it's... Look, Pez is done, okay? And I'm going to go through things to kind of clarify my point. If you guys didn't listen to the podcast... Uh, of Pez Universe, check it out as well. Barry was there with the Midnight Kid, Weza, uh, and Seppo Pezep as well, and they and they had really good, valid points. And it made me think of quite a few things as well that that made logical sense. And we're going to dive into it. So the first thing I do want to clarify is like if we go over, and I'm I'm going to run through a bunch of things here. I don't know how this video is going to go as always, because I kind of just wing it and I give you guys my honest opinions about what I think is going on. Uh, and I did get a few things wrong yesterday, so I want to talk about those as well, like the mobile side of things, like you have to use a controller. That it, that has been validated, so that kind of, you know, that had my problems of there's not enough controls on a phone. Well, you have to use a controller. Anyway, we'll dive into that. So if you do go over to the official Pez Instagram page, um, the one thing that stuck out to me, like if you click on this image right here, you can see it does stay at the top, right? eFootball, uh, an all new football simulation platform from the makers of Pez. And that straight off the bat made me think, okay, so Pez is officially done. But, but it's just crazy, man. Like this, this is what I can't fathom out. And I honestly think like Konami this time last year didn't really know what direction they wanted to take Pez in. Or it's not called Pez anymore, is it? Because they showed that trailer, like the next-gen trailer, and now even Adam Batty himself, people are asking him, like, what happened to that trailer? And he doesn't know. He's like, I don't know, ask the developers. It's it's a mess. Like, it generally is a mess. And, and we'll, we'll talk about that as well. So if you go to Instagram, it states right there, okay? An all-new simulation platform from the makers of Pez. So they've branched this out completely. And there is no more Pez, folks. Yes, there may be, well, you'd hope. And there's talk of Master League coming. Um, and they've even said that. Which is weird. Which is why I can't really... <sighs> it's just, it's a very odd choice. But I also can understand why they've done this. Uh, and it's something we'll touch upon as well in this video. So there it is. There's the first factual information, folks. That Pez is done. And they're going in a completely different direction. Um, with eFootball, okay? So we are going to have to call this eFootball because this is not going to change name-wise. I was thinking, right, maybe this year eFootball 22 and then next year's eFootball 23. No, 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 no. This is not how it works. This is basically Fortnite in a football simulation type game. So there's not going to be a name change. Next year, it's still going to be eFootball. And the year after that, it's still going to be eFootball. All they're going to be doing is updating it constantly. Well, constantly, apparently, every single year now i don't i still can't see how this is ever really going to be truly next gen and we'll talk about that as well because it is technically a mobile game um so yeah that's the first piece of news folks forget pez it's done we're gonna have to call this eFootball. i mean my channel's gonna have to change because i'm gonna have to dive into this eFootball luck and try it out without master league um and kind of go from there so that's the first point out of the way Right, so the next thing I wanted to talk about was the Master Leagues uh, and the other offline modes. As you can see here, Konami will sell Master League and other offline modes as eFootball DLC. And for me, um, it says dead as a dodo. Um, you know, I'm a Master League fan, a huge Master League fan. Likewise, a lot of you guys will be. That's why you subscribe to me. And it, you know, it is a bit of a slap in the face. I'm not going to lie, because if you play online, you're going to get the game for free. But if you want to play to offline mode uh, and we don't even know how good Mars League will be I honestly can't see it being that great I, I really can't I think they've probably spent a lot of the time just working online but we're gonna have to pay for it um, fine I'll pay for it whatever at least that's some sort of news but it also 
it confuses me as well because if they're changing the whole Pez thing and they're no longer Pez, you can't really call it Master League. What are they? Are they going to call it E E Football League, E Football Career Mode, or, or something different? I feel like there's going to be a name change here. I think they spoke about this on, on the Pez Universe podcast as well. We'll see, but I, I can't see how you can brand this as Master League when you're completely ditching Pez and, and just starting a brand new game called eFootball that's cross-gen and all this stuff. Anyway, let's read up about this. Um, so right here, here's the, here's the tweet that they did state. Um, cross-platform matches will be further improved with a new engine and adjusted to take full... Uh, advantage of each platform in addition offline modes such as master league uh, will be sold in the future as optional dlc on all compatible devices so that's going to be on all devices so once again if you're putting master league on a, on a phone there's no way you're going to get the same level of quality as a console prove me wrong but that is one thing i do want to touch upon quite heavily during this video so stay tuned for that one um so yeah, there we have it. That's the confirmation from Konami that Master League is coming at some point. We don't know when uh, and other modes. So there you go. Let me know your thoughts on that below. Right, so the next point I wanted to touch upon was obviously option files because I think this is a big, big thing that obviously we're still left in the dust about. How is option files going to work? Because when the game does launch, if you look at this graphic here, all the... Uh, the teams that are going to be in the game, of course, are going to be licensed, so we're not going to need option files. However, if you do go to this article here, um, it, say, it does state, while a lot of eFootball's approach is a shift from pairs, IGN can confirm um, two returning elements. Peter Drury, Peter Drury and uh, Jim Beglin will continue. I mean, that cracks me up. Like, they couldn't give a monkeys about the commentators or updating any of that, whereas FIFA now have, have got some... They've got that woman doing... Um, the newest commentating and they obviously update the commentary whereas pez just well can't call it pez anymore can we konami couldn't be uh couldn't be bothered anyway so they're coming back the duo uh and uh, the much loved option files which allow players to customize much of the game including unlicensed teams will be available although support will be added post launch uh, and was still unclear on how they'll implement it or whether they'll come to Xbox, pla uh, Xbox platforms for the first time. Once again, we don't really know, but there's some confirmation that option files will be coming later post-launch. A lot of the stuff is just coming post-launch, so... This is, why, this is why it makes me wonder, like... This time last year, Konami may have not even had a clue of what direction they wanted to take this in. And now they're just kind of whacking things out post-launch. But let's get just get it going first. Free to play. Try and make a little bit of revenue. Uh, and then we can start exploiting the likes of offline and option files and all that. So anyway, there's a bit of confirmation for you. Just to keep your minds at rest. Option files will hopefully, at least for the PlayStation and that, uh, still be available later. Right, now the next thing I wanted to touch upon was... I've been seeing this lurking around here. Um, this was Precision saying, I do not trust this info one bit. Yesterday's reveal was enough to turn a lot of the community against the game, which I, I agree. I do agree. Um, but if you actually click on this, and we translate it, um, I don't know who this guy is. He's got 44,000, uh, number one source for all FIFA 22 and eFootball news. I don't understand how this guy, um, how he got a private test play of eFootball on the PS5. I... I I don't believe that. I don't know how he's got that. But he says, Versus the CPU, 1v1 and 3v3. Graphically superior to what they showed. Uh, monumental. Uh, I think that monumental the stadium looked amazing. Nothing to do with what new football game was. Well, you could tell from the, the, the trailer that it was very similar to what we played. Um, they will improve the defensive controls and definition. Do not feel good. And what? I don't know what that means. Bad translation. Uh, and loose players. Whatever that means as well. So I, I don't know how this person's got a, a playtest of eFootball. I don't think anyone's had a playtest. But I can't, I can't see it happening, folks. And I'm going to talk about that in detail now. Of why I don't believe... Um, graphically and all that we're, we're, like look if we went to like if we go down here right this is their trailer of course and I'm gonna bring up I think if you go to the playlists 
and you actually go to eFootball Pez. Right, now this was last year's trailer, as you guys know, okay? This was July 15th, just over a year ago. They came out with this, which was obviously showcasing the Unreal Engine and all that fun stuff. I mean, we've seen we've seen nothing like that in the new trailer. I mean, they showed the, the stadiums with the lighting, but even like the proper reflections and stuff weren't sorted. You know, and then Lionel Messi comes out looking like, you know, the absolute bee's knees. I mean, people paused it there and said, well, where's this graph? Now, the graph, now a lot of this is, I think, you know, it's CGI type graphics that, that never really implement into in-game, very much, very much like what FIFA do. I mean, the kits look good. I think the kits still look good. I don't think that's going to be an issue. But, you know, this really showcased, like, the graphical differences of what we were hoping that we were going to get, you know, on next gen and all that. I mean, Messi looks absolutely nothing like that in the trailer that we've seen. Um, and that was it, right? So that was the short snippet that they showed. Uh, and we'll just have Messi here looking at you because why not? As I'm going to discuss a few things. So, yeah, that's the trailer we got last year. And then we got the trailer yesterday, which was not even in the same category. But this is the problem I have with the way they're taking this whole approach of eFootball. It's, it's on mobile, and I cannot see. I need someone... If any of you guys know about, like, programming, animations, how it works, let me know in the comments. I want you guys to picture this and let me know how this is going to work, right? How can you have next-gen, like, technology? I'm talking about, like, proper good animations and stuff on the PS5 and then go and play someone on a mobile device if they don't have the same tech. Like, if there's new animations in the PS5 version, how can you translate that over to the mobile game and still have it work correctly? I, I can't see how it's going to work. So for me, personally, all this spiel about all oh, the next-gen versions being worked on or we, tra we, you know, we work on console and then we port it to the mobile. Well, surely at some point you've got to dumb down that console version for people on mobile to be able to play you. Th that's what I can't get my head around. I don't see how you can have next-gen tech versus old-gen tech. The mobile version cannot, cannot produce what the PS5 can do. This is why FIFA, they've come out with their hypermotion tech and I've slagged it off and I said, well, what? well I haven't really slagged it off. I've slagged off the skatingness. But they've even stated that they can't do the hypermotion tech on PS4, on Xbox, on the old stuff. They're not even doing it on PC. It's only on the new Xbox and the PS5. Yet Konami are somehow gonna figure this out with their technology and make you be able to play someone on a crappy old phone. I mean, it's not gonna be crappy because most phones are now very good. But there's still gonna be people that have an old phone. Yeah, you're gonna need a controller to play with it. But how are you gonna get next-gen tech on that? It's not going to happen. So for me, this eFootball was never going to be next-gen unless they come out with a brand new game specifically built. And it's not going to happen. They're not going to spend this whole time making two games. Some people think there's another trailer coming out or another game. It's not happening, folks. This is it. This is, this is eFootball now. It's free to play. It's going to play and look like a mobile game. And unless I'm wrong, I'll hold my hands up and say that when this game launches. But I can't see how this is going to happen. Not new, new tech on old tech doesn't work. They have to be exactly the same game to play against each other, surely. They're going to butt heads otherwise. How's it going to work? How are you going to have new animations on PS5 and old animations on mobile and still make it work in tandem? It's got to be exactly the same gameplay, surely. I know Fortnite does it, but Fortnite is a very, very, very cartoony type game. You don't need that. This is a football game where they're going for simulation, where they're going for realism. What? Look, we can type in right now on, on, on Thing and say, Pez 2022 um, next-gen graphics, and I'm going to bring up uh, the article. Is there an article? You guys remember that article where they were talking about next-gen graphics? I can't find it now. You won't better see it on the... On the uh, but they spoke about photorealistic graphics. That's not going to happen. It's all lies, and that's what annoys me. I mean, if we go here... Um, I'm going to type in Adam right now. Because this is this is what I was talking about before. Like, I've nothing against Adam. You know, I've met him before. He's a nice bloke. 
but they just they don't seem to know anything like this comment right here people asking main concern for people has been the next gen graphics what was showed looks like it was captured on last gen can konami clarify on this please and adam's comment is i cannot comment on this as this should be addressed by those who are working on the game my only advice to everyone is to wait until the next drop of information so he doesn't know and oh you know a person who apparently works for the company as a senior manager doesn't know what is going on in their own game it's been a constant problem at konami and i honestly feel like what's happened now is konami have realized they can't compete with fifa in in that regard when it comes to an actual package like a, a proper a hundred percent worth the money 50 60 dollar game 70 dollar game that that's stacked with features they can't compete with them anymore they've given up um and they're going to the free to play market because they know they're going to make billions a year from mobile and that's all it matters and it, it's a slap in the face to us as loyal pez fans for the last few decades that we're gonna have to now cope with this um and it sucks big time i don't even know where my channel is gonna go i will play this new game and i'll test it out sure masterly comes out but if it's bare bones it graphically looks terrible there's no new animations the controls have been dumbed down that's going to be another issue for me controls why are we changing stuff you know, Pezet put it, you know, great in the in the in the Pez podcast. He said, "I've got nothing wrong with change. Like the next gen, you know, the, the cross gen stuff, the name change, no problem with that. But it's changes that we didn't ask for, and that is the biggest concern. Like we didn't ask to play mobile gamers. Why do I want to play someone who's playing on a mobile? I don't. I'll play on against Xbox. Fine, on the same console, like next gen versus next gen, old gen versus old gen." I don't want to play against someone on a mobile when I'm sitting on a PS5. He's playing on Wi-Fi. How do I know the connection's going to be good? Controls are dumbed down. Graphically looks like pants. We don't want it. So Konami have made all these changes that we didn't ask for. And it's all this faff about, oh, we, we want to listen to the community. Well, you haven't listened to anyone. Konami, you've listened to no one because we didn't ask for this. Um... And it sucks. And honestly, they're going to lose a lot of customers who aren't going to go and play FIFA, but they're not going to care because they're still going to make tons of money from the casual gamers that will pick this up. There will be a lot of casual players that, that download this game. Obviously, it's all digital now, so it's, it's going to be different. But yeah, it's a big slap in the face, folks. That's pretty much all the info I have. I just wanted to clarify the points of... Um, obviously, Master League will be coming later. The controller... For the phones is going to be needed uh, i still think the controls are going to be dumbed down i cannot see how this is also going to be next gen because on mobile you cannot get that level of quality and uh you know it's why you picked up a ps5 right i didn't pick up a ps5 to play pez on it i picked up a ps5 because i want a next gen console but having like adaptive triggers and all the fun stuff i mean is that even going to be relevant are they even going to bother with that that's like a next gen experience that you only get on the ps5 can't see konami adding that into the mix so if anything, I might as well just play eFootball on a mobile because I can pick up and play. And I have a controller for it because I was playing uh, Warzone with it. <laughs> uh, but anyway, that is all for today. Let me know your thoughts below. We've got another half an hour video of me ranting on. Uh, that wasn't really ranting. I'm just trying to give my opinions. If you guys don't agree, then of course, let me know below. If you think there is some faith in this game, 100% go for it. Believe what you want to believe, but I'm just being very realistic on what I've seen. And uh, that whole two, three year plan was, was to me complete nonsense. Um, and Konami don't really know what direction they were going to take. Now they know, they figured it out. Oh, we'll just go free to play uh, and really just try and corner that market. Uh, but the whole Master League spiel and the next gen, no. No, I, I can't see it happening. Anyway, let me know your thoughts below. We'll return tomorrow. I will be streaming. I will be streaming tomorrow around 5 o'clock Eastern time. So stay tuned for that. And we'll just sit there. We'll play some Pez. Um, yeah, we'll play Pez. And honestly, folks, one thing I will say is Pez 21 now with the whole mod still going on. Modding with this game is not really going to happen. Efootball, I can't see mods coming for, for if there is going to be an option for mods in a very long time. If it's even moddable that's a word um so pez 21 i'm going to continue playing it in fact i'll download gameplay mods we might get some different gameplay i think a lot of people now will just start playing pez 21 on pc mod it to hell and we'll have a brand new game that maybe we can we can design our own game 
and do something a little bit different. So I will try and keep the Master League going, but we'll just download like the Virtual Red mod after, I don't know, the next playthrough. We'll download some gameplay patches and at least it might feel like it's a little bit of a different game. That's, that's our best bet. Anyway, until next time, subscribe for more and uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts below. Take care.